So somebody asked me, would you invest in Bitcoin today? I'm recording this late June 2022. So Bitcoin's around 20,000 USD a coin. Would I invest in it today? Well, first of all, if you had bought Bitcoin five, six years ago, when, I don't know, when it was around three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand, you're still doing fantastic. If you would have bought Bitcoin when it went to its previous peak around 17, 18,000, and I did a video on Bitcoin back then, I, I said at that point, 17, 18,000, probably not the best time to get in. And if you would have stayed out, it would have went down to went down to three or four. And then if you would have bought there, you'd be fantastic now. Now, the problem with all of this I'm talking about here, it's that it's practically impossible of a time of a market. Timing a market is just like rolling the dice. You're either lucky or you're not. Anyway, um, let me get to the point. So would I buy Bitcoin today? The short answer is no, because I think that the major action in Bitcoin, the major move is pretty much done. Now, it could bounce back up to 30, 40, 50, 60,000 a coin. There's no question it could double or triple from here. Who knows? Why? Because Bitcoin is not really tethered to anything tangible. It's all a perception of value in people's minds. Whereas you look at stocks like, uh, well, any stocks in a stock market, they're bound to something tangible, a company that earns, right? So uh, there's, in theory, a floor there if it's a good company. So if you look at ExxonMobil as an example, it's uh, doubled, more than doubled in the last year, right? That's because of its earnings. Uh, and you can measure its price relative to its earnings, uh, its PE, price or earnings. So you can judge whether or not people are fantasizing about the value of this business or not. Of course, the stock market is very variable. You look at Tesla, it's, 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 it's price or earnings are off the charts, but still, Tesla is grounded in something tangible. It's a business that makes cars. It's got a strong brand. Bitcoin was first sold to us as a super cheap way to transact and get around the banking system. Now, apparently, Bitcoin transactions are way too slow. Bitcoin transactions cost, uh, can cost a lot of money, so I'm told. And what a lot of people think is the strength about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency, the fact that you can't trace or reverse a transaction, that's crazy. That's one of the reasons I go and I do banking. One of the reasons you pay a bank is so that you can reverse transactions, you can trace money, you can, you have some sort of protection. That's, you know, if you, you know, want to send money and you send it to the wrong address, the wrong wallet via, you know, whatever it be, Bitcoin or whatnot, you're off by one number, that's it, it's gone forever, that money's gone, you can't get it back. So that's like, uh, that's problematic in my opinion. Anyhow, so the other reason, so they shifted it, right? So they went from, oh, Bitcoin's a great efficient way for a transaction. Now it isn't apparently. And then they said, oh, it's, a, it's digital gold. It's digital gold, Bitcoin is. And uh, so they said, it's an inflation, it's an inflation hedge, kind of like gold, you know? Uh, so we have, we have inflation now, and what did Bitcoin do? It went from 60K to 20K. That's not exactly a good inflation hedge. Yes, the broader market sold off, but it sold off maybe 20%, right? That's not, it's, it's, you know, you're doing much better than the stock market. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen uh, in Bitcoin going forward, Ethereum going forward. My guess, it, it could pop back up. But I think that the major moves are gone, meaning, yeah, you could double or triple your, triple your money over the next several years in Bitcoin. There's no question. But I believe you can do that in much safer, more stable investments that can't or probably won't go to zero. So if you look at uh, just buying the, bar buying the broader market, 10 years, it will probably double. Uh, Apple, if you would have bought Apple five, six years ago, I think it is, I think you would have multiplied your money five times and you're still doing very well. So, you know, Yes, if you would have bought Bitcoin when it was 3000 fantastic. 10 years ago, unbelievable. If you would have bought Bitcoin uh, in the last year, you're, you're way down. So who knows? Anyway, this is my thinking about it. I'm not recommending anything that you to do because I'm not your investment counselor. I'm just answering a question that was put to me. Would I buy Bitcoin today? No, because it's not bound to anything really except sentiment, which is emotion. Number two, um, it's not 
There's no underlying business behind it. It's not a cash machine like uh, Microsoft and Apple or uh, ExxonMobil or Coca-Cola. And uh, it's and I think the big moves are done. Yes, it could go up four or five times. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of other investments that are far, far safer that could go up multiples without all the inherent risk that you see in the cryptos. I believe one crypto went to zero recently, right? People get wiped out. So two last points. A, um, when you gamble, right, when you're in a very highly, vol highly volatile type of um, investment, they, use, they call it a speculation. Speculation is a fancy Wall Street term for gamble. When you gamble, eventually you go to zero. Eventually you go to zero. That's number one. Uh, so when you invest, though, uh, and, and you just follow basic investing principles, you don't go to zero. In fact, you do very well over, over the medium long term. And the other thing, if this video is very triggering, if you're down there writing comments, this guy, what an idiot. Listen, I'm not telling you what to do. Those are my opinion. You can have your opinion. But if it's triggering you, getting you really angry, that means that you're emotionally invested in this thing, which means that your judgment is clouded. Now, emotions can help you come to good judgment, but emotions oftentimes can help you uh, find yourself in very bad situations. You're best to invest when you have no emotion involved in it. You want to be cold, C-O-L-D, in terms of your emotions when you're investing. So if this is triggering to you, this is getting you angry, because I just have an opinion. Then you're emotionally invested, then I think you, whoa, never make any important decisions when you're emotionally charged, because oftentimes it can get you into trouble. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn about money, you want to learn about coding, you want to be mentored, check on the links below. Ciao.